Hi there. Um, I just want to make another video and uh, go a little bit further with uh, what God told me about um, that one night when he woke me up. So it was the 24th of July and um, he woke me up in the middle of the night and he was asking me what time is it. And when he asked me after thinking about it afterwards, um, I believe he was not asking me only what what is the time on my watch right now, but what is the season? What uh, is the season we are in or what is the season we are entering into right now? Um, so I was, lo was uh, then looking on my phone and it was 2.44 in the morning. Uh, so I said to him it's 2.44. And the next thing God told me was not a question, but uh, he gave me a name. It was, he just said, Christian Bale, nothing more, nothing less. And then I fell asleep again. The next morning when I woke up, it was, um, uh, I had a Bible verse in my head. And it was uh, from, from uh, Revelations 18, verse 8. And... Um, uh, this one, uh, just the last part of it, and it was uh, for strong is the Lord God who judges her. Uh, what I found out later um, was that two times forty-four is one time eighty-eight. Um, so two forty-four is the same as one eighty-eight. Um, he gave me the Bible, uh, like I was, I was uh, checking on on Google. What is 244, if that has any meaning, right? Um, I The first thing I was typing in was 244, and which came up was was uh, Daniel 244. I will show you the Bible verse, what was written there. Um, and then, then um, Revelations 18.8 is, is absolute the same. And uh, it says the same that um, the in Daniel it's it's uh, it, it's uh, it's uh, described a little bit different, but it's about the judgment of the nations, which is the whore of Babylon, which is Babylon, and uh, the setting up of his glorious kingdom, right? And uh, in Revelations 18:8. It uh, speaks about the judgment of the harlot, right? Um, so it, it's the same. The, the, it's identical. And I thought this was very interesting to find out afterwards. Uh, but there were many more things which I think are very important to understand now in the seasons we are going into. Um, the 244th day of the year 2020 is the 31st of August. Um, there were many, many people uh, who, who got words from God and said that things are going to happen in the month of September, which will be difficult, a new lockdown because of the virus, and um, um, but many other things as well, right? <clears throat> um, so I believe things are going to happen and many things will change um, in, the, in the month of September and it will not be pleasant things, we probably will not like what is going to happen. I also was counting back from 31st of December, 244 days and I came to the 1st of May. The interesting thing about the 1st of May is it's the highest occultist day. Uh, yeah, 1st of May is very interesting. It is Beltane. It's a, it's a day where, uh, go where goddesses or the goddess is going to be worshipped.
you have not watched it, I made a video, I put a video together with uh, prophets and people of God who, who um, uh, explained what is coming next. Many people saw waves, a wave is coming, um, or water is coming, you need to brace yourself. And uh, one, one prophet um, was talking about the straw man versus a strong man. And um, where, while we believe the riots in May and June and the coronavirus were the strong man, in reality it was a straw man. And uh, we have not seen the strong man yet. So uh, there was this pastor who has seen uh, that something is going to happen in September and he always got the word brace yourself you always receive the word brace yourself brace yourself brace yourself and there was another prophetess who got the same word brace yourself and she was asking God what does it mean to brace yourself and she was looking in the dictionary and she found out uh, what that means I actually found one Bible verse about Samson when he was blindfolded at that feast of the Philistines, he was asking the Holy Spirit one more time to give him uh, the, the strength back. And uh, that's written, he braced himself and was leaning against, against, uh, against the pillars to destroy the Philistines. And uh, there's written that he did it with all his strength so to brace yourself means to hold fast or to do something with all your strength, with everything you have. But she was asking Jesus, what does it mean to brace yourself? And um, he, said, he said, you need to be in my presence, you need to seek me like never before. It is very important in the time that you are close to me, that you are in my presence and uh, that you not do things which are not important for that time. And uh, I will definitely link the video either up here or up there, wherever it appears. Maybe I will put a link in the description below. You will see it, you can watch it again. And there were so many more things God was showing me and which I found out. What I did was to count the 244th words of the Bible and the 244th chapter and so on. So what I found out, the 244th words of the Bible is Genesis 10.9 and it speaks about Nimrod. And there's written, he was a mighty hunter before the Lord. Therefore it is said like Nimrod, the mighty hunter before the Lord. Nimrod um, was a king who was founding Babylon, right? So he was the first king for the first Babylon. Uh, his name actually means rebellious. So he was a rebellious mighty hunter before the Lord. Because he did not do what was right in the sight of the Lord. He was rebellious. You need to understand that names in the Bible have a, have a meaning. Almost all of them are very important and have a meaning. So what Nimrod did was what he was called. He was rebellious. And um, I think this fits very well to the verse uh, Revelations 18.8 For strong is the go Lord God who judges her because, of, because out of her, out of Babylon will come the last Nimrod, the, the one we call Antichrist. Um, Let's go further. The 244th chapter of the Bible is 1 Samuel 8. And uh, they wanted to have a king, right? Israel was demanding a king. So they wanted to have a king and it became Saul. Uh, I, I will not read the whole chapter, you can do it yourself. 1 Samuel 8. But. Um, after the, I will just go a little bit through it. After the Israelites demanded a king, there's written in um, verse six, 
but the thing displeased Samuel when, when they said, give us a king to judge us. So Samuel prayed to the Lord, and the Lord said to Samuel, Heed the voice of the people in all that they say to you, for they have not rejected you, but they have rejected me, that I should not reign over them. This is rebellion. Like Nimrod, who was rebellious, the people of Israel were rebellious. They rejected God, and they wanted to be like the so-called, what we call, secular world. They wanted to be like everybody else. And I see the church, big parts, is like the world today. Um, allowing the world going into the church instead that the church is going out into the world, right? And I'm not guiltless of that. I also do things which are very worldly sometimes. And uh, I think nobody can escape from that accusation. Um, but it's important that we are not rebellious, but that we listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit and uh, that we do what he wants us to do, right? Um, yeah. And um, I also want to go backwards from the book of Revelations, from the last verse, the 240 was verse is Revelations 9 verse 18 and there is written by these three plagues a third of mankind was killed by the fire and the smoke and the brimstone which came out of their mouths and uh, this is very interesting because Jezebel uh, Jezebel the, the I mean Babylon the whore of Babylon which is absolute infiltrated by the spirit of Jezebel, to say that way, but uh, um, Babylon will be judged by fire and by water, okay? This is very important to understand. Um, the 244th chapter backwards from Revelations 22 is Matthew 17. And I think this, this fits perfectly to the whole whole uh, topic we are talking about, especially to Daniel 2.44. So again, I will not read the whole chapter, but uh, I will show you some parts of it. So this is a transfiguration of Jesus on the mountain. When I was reading that in connection with, with, um, with Daniel 2.44 and Revelations 18.8, <clears throat> I wasn't totally sure what that is about, but um, um, I was researching a little bit and it makes perfect sense. Um, now after six days, Jesus took Peter, James and John, his brother, led them up on a high mountain by themselves and he was transfigured before them. His face shone like the sun and his clothes became white as the light. <clears throat> and behold, Moses and Elijah appeared to him, talking with him. So uh, the transfiguration was that that he was seen in his glory um, on that mountain. And uh, this is uh, this is how he will be seen in his coming kingdom, which will be established when the horror of Babylon is going to be judged. Um, interesting is also that that um, he's talking about Elijah in that same chapter, right? There's written indeed in verse 11, indeed Elijah is coming first and will restore all things. But I say to you that Elijah has come already, John the Baptist. <coughs> And they did not know him, but did to him whatever they wished. Likewise, the Son of Man is also about to suffer at their hands. So Elijah came the second time with, before Jesus came. <coughs> and he will come again when the spirit of Elijah will be here in the earth to 
prepare the way for the kingdom of God, right? Um, if you read uh, Revelations 11, which talks about the two witnesses, they have written the two witnesses are the two lampstands and the two olive trees. <coughs> Both of them are the church, which you can read in the beginning of Revelations, they have written the church is the lampstand or the churches are the lampstands. And um, that's also written in the Old Testament that that um, Israel are the olive trees. The olive trees produce all for the lampstands. The one cannot be without the other. <coughs> and both are the same. Both are the glorious church. Both are Israel, true Israel and true church. I was going a very much further with the number 244 and I want to show you what I found out. Um, what I did, I was, I was searching for the verse in the Bible which is a 244 verse plus 244, right? Which would be the 488th verse. And then I went further, what is a 488th verse plus the 700, uh, plus 244 which then would become 732. And again, plus 244, which is 976, and so on. I went f as far until it was 3416. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that I will make more videos in the future. So if you are interested, uh, consider to subscribe. But uh, until then, God bless you, thank you for watching, have a good day.